Bobby Wine and wife Barbie finally give up direct management of their prized One Love Beach. January 18, 2022 in Business, Featured Week can exclusively reveal that National Unity Platform Principal, Robert Kaigalini aka Bobby Wine and his wife Barbara Itungo aka Barbie, have taken leave of the direct management of their prized One Love Beach in Buzabala, off Entebbe Road. This follows a heated debate by the power couple that nearly compromised their relationship with Barbie insisting on overseeing the business, while Bobby Wine, insisted that keeping the family in charge of the business with interference from government agencies like the police would garner more business disaster. The Buzabala show debacle, begun in 2019, when the Inspector General of Police Martin Zakothokala cancelled Bobby Wine's independence music show dubbed Isabola. In a letter dated October 2, 2019, directing the KMP commander to stop the show, Opala Aldat Kaigalini, at the time did not consider the preparatory plans for medical care, traffic control, crowd control and security. However, earlier in 2018 during the infamous Arua municipality campaigns, the battle lines were drawn after a group of supporters to independent, Bobby Wine-backed candidate Kajano Wadri, collided with supporters of NRM candidate Nusra Taiparu and chaos ensued, claiming the life of his driver Yasin Kauma. Kauma was seated in the legislator's Tundra car Reg R416K, when a bullet tore through his flesh. Consequently, Bobby Wine was arrested and initially charged by the military court-martial in Gulu on charges of possession of firearms and live rounds of bullets, though the case didn't see the light of day. With Barbie finally agreeing on letting go of her managerial role, the sensitive issue on who to zero on to take over the helm after her departure had kept the couple on tenterhooks until recently, when they decided to tactfully lease its management. Since then, Buzaibala has been in business unabated, following President Museveni's partial opening of the economy. Whether Bobby Wine, will still manage to stage a concert at the venue minus being compromised by security when the economy is fully opened in a few days time, is a story for another day.